10 differences between hair transplantation in Indians as compared to Westerners and others. What are these differences? Is it significant to discuss this? I am here, Dr. Venkatram Mysore, dermatologist and hair transplant surgeon, Venkat Center, Bangalore. There are several differences, but one important thing right at the beginning I want to tell. The Indian head, Indian skin is very variable. A person from Kashmir is very different from person in Tamil Nadu or Kerala. Person in Assam or Manipur or Tripura is very different from person in Gujarat or Maharashtra. We have different racial mixtures in our population. So, there are some who have features of Caucasian or Western hair, some which have Mongoloid hair like our northeastern states, some Dravidian have typical Australoid or Negroid hair. So, you get different types of hair in this and so there is no one set rule for transplantation in India. Shape of the say, head, size of the head, hair characteristic, everything varies. So, this is the introduction that we have to first keep in mind. Having done this, let us see what are the differences. First, let us see what is the attitude of Indian patients. Indian patients are also very sensitive to baldness. They are extremely worried about baldness and this is because they think it affects their not just the career but also marriage. Arranged marriages are the way in India still and often we have parents bringing in the children for transplantation. The person himself or may not be bothered about it, but the parents bother about it. And recently in the society, beauty is getting an increasing attention. So, how you look is an important component in the marriage market. So, this is another important feature. What are the hair characteristics in the donor area? In the donor area, the most important thing is the size of the head. Indian head is smaller when compared to the western head. So, the area of donor itself is small, which means that the number of units available may be smaller when compared to a person with large head. So, in the west, you may be able to do an FUE session of 3,500. In India, the usual number of units that we do in one session is around 2,500 units. Next is the density per square centimeter. In the Caucasian skin, density of about 100 is common. We have 70, 75, 80 per square centimeter. That means the total number of units that we can harvest is less. Number 3 the hair diameter, it is often thicker. In for example, negroid skin, their hairs are very, very thick. Our hairs are smaller. The number five, the hair curliness. We have curly hair, but it is not as curly as the hair in African population. In them, transplantation is particularly difficult. It is not so in our skin. And then we have one very important feature with us and that is tendency for scarring. Scarring, particularly when we used to do FUT, scar tends to be wider. And when we do FUE, that small dot which remains can become hypopigmented or whitish. So, you can see this photo here. You can see the photo how after FUE, if, when it is not done properly, the whole scalp is studded with small little dots. So, this is very important particularly if we are doing from the beard region, particularly in the South Indian population. So, we cannot over harvest. We can only harvest 25 percent of the hairs available in that area. Otherwise, you will see those dots very, very clearly. Then. The next feature, number 6, is the type of follicular unit. That is, how many hairs are there per unit. In the western skin, 3, 4, 5 hairs are common. Same thing happens in negroid skin, black population. And in Indians, usually it is 2, sometimes 3. 
So, the average number of hairs per unit is just about 2.1 or 2.2. This again affects the outcome. We need to put in more number of units to get the same number of density hairs and to get the same look. So, this is another very important feature. Then what about the recipient area? Recipient area, for example, in the western skin, they like a very triangular hairline design with a steep recession here. Indians like a more circular design, particularly they want this corner to be covered. So that means in the front, our patients want a broader design, slightly lower level and they want the angles to be covered. This is a very important feature. So, when we do the front, our patients expect a wider hairline, that means greater area, that means we need to put in lot more hairs in the front to give that particular appearance. Now, we come to the next one and that is, what is the density that is expected here? in the recipient area number seven this is something which is very important in indians because in india you have black hair and the skin near fairer in the west they have fair hair and fair skin so it gets camouflaged here black hair absorbs light fair skin reflects light so even if the density is a bit less the light gets reflected and then the patient feels he is bald. So, patients expect a greater density in the recipient area. This is another very important feature. Then, there is one increasing feature that we are seeing now. This is feature number 8 and that is our patients are younger, they often are little obese, particularly trunkal obesity and they have association with diabetes and blood pressure, what we call metabolic syndrome. Such patients, they have weak roots even in the donor area. This is now in about 2 to 3 percent of patients. That category is called diffuse type of hair loss as you can see here. The thinning occurs even here, so their roots are not very strong. That means these patients have need for proper medical therapy to strengthen the roots. Without it, if they are transplanted, roots may not survive well. So, result may not be achieved well. So, medical therapy is very important for patients like this. Likewise, we have another category called reverse pattern baldness. As you can see in this photo, which means the baldness is happening from below. Baldness happens from above like this. In this patient, it is happening from below as you can see in this photograph. So, there the donor area itself gets very limited. Number of hairs available for grafting are very limited. So, you cannot cover a large area in such patients. So, this is the next difference. Then, feature number 9 we have two things. One is fear of drugs. Our patients often may not want to take drugs and they are very afraid of side effects, particularly for finasteride. They tend to believe what they read on Google very easily. I have seen people from the West who are taking finasteride for 10 years, 12 years. But here, most patients don't like to take it because they are extremely afraid. So, this is one more feature. With the result, they do not take medicines properly. They keep thinning and they keep balding more and more and they have to come for transplantation. So, this is the next feature. And last feature, we are all aware of this. And that is affordability. This is feature number 10. And that is affordability. Now, for example, the cost of a transplant per graft in America is between 6 to 10 dollars a graft. In Turkey, it is about 1.5 to 2 dollars a graft. In India, even 1 dollar per graft is not accept acceptable 
are affordable to lot of patients. And so what happens then is either they keep taking unsubstantiated treatments or they go to quacks. This is one more feature of what is happening in India. You have large number of non-doctors performing surgery. These are just technicians. They may be a lab technician, they may be OT technician or they may not be medical person at all. So as a result, they perform surgeries to reduce cost in all kinds of places without any proper facility and such transplants by quacks have reduced to disastrous side effects. One side effect you can see here in this photo is how ugly the hairline design is. Another side effect as you can see in this report, death after transplant. All these things happen because people do not follow diligence, they look at only cost, surgery is performed by unqualified, unrecognized people and that leads to disasters. So in summary, the hair characteristics in Indian patients have certain special features. The beliefs, attitudes, society requirements put pressure on the person to do transplantation. There is a little reluctance to take drugs to save the hair. And finally, quackery is on the rise. Everybody needs to be concerned about it. People have to make a choice, identify who is a qualified person, who is not a qualified person, which facility has proper treatment facilities, only choose such areas. I hope you have liked this video. Please visit our website www.venkatcenter.com. If you have liked it, please share it and please send, you, send us feedback. Thank you very much. Namaste.